He was there. Oh, you he like was it? There. Cool. Okay. Now, My parents <laughs> say that uh, they don't like you, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. No. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, we, we got to hear about this. So I'm Rob St. Clair. This is Stephen Marr, and I'm on his parents' naughty list. This is a phenomenally good story. We, I ran into him last night because I was on a show with Everett, and I, Team Canada is my second favorite national team in the world. Yeah. Unfortunately. That's the first problem. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm loyal to my homeland, and I was referencing a play last year in the bubble in Italy where you may have taken one in the face from TJ DeFalco, and your parents didn't like that very much. No. So, first pipe DeFalco hit is perfectly right in my hands. Wasn't it the first game of the entire tournament? Yeah, first ball, first pipe ball, no block that he hit. Got it right here, edge of my hands. I was like, all right, fine. Five points later, next ball, I was like, same thing, all right, let's take a step up. And he just rockets the ball off my face. <laughs> um, I ate that ball pretty well. Um, you did. But, yeah, my family's a grudge family, so that's the biggest problem. So my parents obviously remember that. And I love can't, it. Can't, can't support you for anything for that one. What does Ryan think? My brother? Uh, I don't – my brother catches matches here and there, but I think at the end of the day – if I'm getting the balls rocketed off my face, he's probably not a fan. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, probably a fair guess. So your family's a grudge family. Does that carry down to you as a player as well? And how then does that affect your mental approach to this tournament? Because it's not a good start for you guys. It's not what you're looking for. But it's the beginning of a very, very long process. How do you, as a guy who's been around, kind of put that all together mentally? There's a lot going on. I think honestly in Ottawa we've we've struggled generally because we've had this v same VNL tournament in Ottawa for the past three times and it, they've been early in the in the weeks and I think also the beginning of VNL we struggled last year and we finished strong um, but I think that's going to be something that we're going to have to also think about is we lost a couple tight ones that we didn't like and I think we lost these both 3-0 but I think at the end we had opportunities to take, especially in the Germany game, the third set. And I think we had a couple opportunities tonight to make a couple plays. And I think that's the same kind of feeling in our mouth. So I think we have another two matches and we have, we have to start taking some points, start taking some wins. So um, yeah, obviously we're playing with a different system and a new situation, but I think we made a large improvement and we're gonna continue to work to make continue to large improvements. How do you balance the need to make those little improvements to get longer term, greater improvements versus performing well enough in a tournament like Volleyball Nations League? The reformatting, world ranking points matter a lot more. The whole thing. Everyone hates losing. Winning is important all the time. But you guys have bigger, longer term goals. How do you put all that together? Um, people are telling me with a lot of patience. <laughs> People are reminding me of the patients. Uh, I think, yeah, I think that term of a growth mindset and doing things that are uncommon and working to get better at the things that are un uncommon, and that's what I'm telling some of the younger guys. Like, hey, you can do what you're good at right now, and you can maybe make a VNL roster right now, or, or you can do the stuff that's uncommon, and you can maybe make an Olympic roster. What would you rather do? And being in those situations where two Olympic Games, I was one of the ones cut for Rio, and then I was one of the ones who, I was battling much injuries, but I was one of the ones who made it into Tokyo. I can definitely say, like, in those moments, that all the years that you had already had under your belt, those actually weigh on you if you didn't do everything you could have done. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you feel really content, like, I've put everything I can put into this, and you actually pay a lot freely, a lot more free. And I think I did that in the last you know because I had nothing to lose, I couldn't have done anything else, so. Yeah. You, that's incredible insight. Your game personally, as one of the guys who has a, a significant international career under his belt, what is it like for you to kind of start from ground zero in a new and very technical system like this? Honestly, it's been really good because if the younger guys are better than me at the system. Yeah, yeah. So that's been really humbling. Um, I think we had some good we had some good success with the system against France, especially in the second match. And I think that honestly was a made us eat some humble pie against Germany. The German team was a much different blocking team. And then I think we saw what's possible and now we just have to continue to work to make it more consistent. 
Yeah, consistency, the name of the game in this tournament. And the last thing is that the rest of this weekend, you've got three matches in three days, including two the next two days. How does your team handle that process? And what, from this point forward, is a good outcome for you guys, either in the record books or just things that you can feel that are being done better? Um, I think being able to take the lessons from tonight and watch it tonight and then get over it and be in a competing mindset for tomorrow. And each game is an opportunity for us to improve and each game is an opportunity for us to win. So I think those two things are very important and that's why it gotta be our focus. And like, okay, we have Italy tomorrow and then Bulgaria on the last day, but we gotta worry about what did we do wrong tonight? What did we do well? And what are we gonna do to beat Italy tomorrow? It's been a pleasure watching you guys already and it's gonna be even better the rest of this week. Congrats, man, thanks for the thoughts. Thank you, appreciate it guys. Thanks.